Hey everyone, this is Manish and welcome to my YouTube channel. So in the previous video that I uploaded in my channel that will be available here and I'll give the link in the description. What are the various ways to enter into IITs if your GATE score is not at par to get the direct admission in IIT or IISC, okay? So I, I am very much thankful to all of you about all the positive and huge responses that I got. So in this video, I'll be discussing something very special about how to prepare for those interviews, okay? If your GATE score are decent, you will definitely be getting an interview call from IIT or ISC. So stay tuned to this video until the very end. Don't skip because I'll be discussing a lot of important points throughout this video. I'll try to make this video a very short length so that it can help you in a very short amount of time, okay? So let's begin. Okay, so before proceeding, make sure you hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification so that you will be instantly notified once I upload new videos to my channel. Okay, here's a small tip to ace any kind of interviews that you want. And for that, please watch this video until end. I'll put that small trick to end of this video. So please watch it carefully. Don't skip and watch it until end. You will find that trick easily. Okay, so first thing first, you need to have all the thorough knowledge towards all the subjects that are included in GATE syllabus, okay? You shouldn't skip anything from the GATE syllabus that you may think that the interviewer will ask only from a specific subject, no. You need to revise all the subjects, you need to cover all the topics of the GATE syllabus. Okay, so now after you cover all the subjects, try to prepare four to five subjects thoroughly. Why this is useful? Because the interviewer or the panelist in front of you will generally ask you about some some of your preference okay and you will be asked questions based on that subjects only and then if you are damn unlucky then the professor will not give you any chance to select any subjects they'll ask questions randomly based on their interest okay but generally they try to follow this trend that they will ask you to provide some subjects that uh, you are comfortable with and they'll ask questions from that subjects only so my suggestion will be try to prepare ds algo operating system network dbms uh, computer architecture or organization these subjects quite thoroughly okay now, if you're preparing for research interviews, uh, which has a specific focus on some specific subjects, then you need to prepare something differently, okay? So in the next video, I'll be covering how we can prepare for the research interviews. So make sure to find your strong subjects for, uh, and find your weak subjects, okay? So that will be useful in during the interview. If, if let's say a professor asks something from the compiler and you may obviously say that you are not comfortable with the compiler, try to ask some question from DS algo or uh, operating system network. So they are generally very cool and they are very supportive. So th their intention is to make you comfortable and something to get out of it, okay? Now the most important thing is that don't mug up or don't remember any formula or something on your head just to you know remember something you have to understand it properly why that formula is coming why that particular thing is happening let's say if i ask you what is the worst case time complexity of quicksort and if you say order of n square and then i'll ask why why is the order of n square is the worst case time complexity of quicksort and in which case that worst case time complexity happens so if you don't have this proper idea proper knowledge that why something is happening that why something we are doing then you are in a wrong trap okay so this time try to figure out everything that you are weak and you haven't understood properly try to figure out those things and and work on this okay everything from starting from ds algo operating system network try to follow everything from a proper justification why something is happening why something is useful at all okay so they will ask you basic question based on your analytical ability not just to test whatever you remember and whatever you know okay so for every topic try to read standard textbook don't just follow your notes try to read standard textbook standard materials that are available in the internet and try to find the proper explanation of everything okay your understanding of core concept is the main priority of the interviewer okay okay sometimes in many cases they just take written test and after that you will be shortlisted for interview okay so in that case during interview they'll ask you whatever you have done in your written test you have to justify why you wrote that answer what are the questions you skipped why you skip why you didn't understand the question that's the thing they will ask you okay so try to prepare for that if you are writing something in the written test try to write it in such a way that they may ask you okay this is not applicable for every cases but they sometimes follow this rule uh, they may ask you 
to justify your answer okay so keep it in mind while writing answers for the written test okay so some iits do take coding exam okay so for that you need to prepare ds algo thoroughly okay specifically all the concepts of sorting searching graph dynamic programming trees everything should be cleared stacks and queue okay these are very important topic you can either go to geeks for geeks or either go to interview bit or lead code whatever you are comfortable with and you start preparing from that so i'll try to give a link in the description of geeks for geeks uh, which is a must do coding problem for any interviews you try to follow that try to practice two or three problems every day you have a plenty amount of time left before you interview so try to give consistent effort towards coding also because some ITs will take coding and after that they'll ask for interview okay last but not the least if you have done something great in your btech project or any kind of great publication or whatever you did during your btech try to put it in such a way that they are very much attractive if any of the professor finds it useful and very attractive they will generally ask questions based on your projects only okay if they find interest in your work they will try to make questions from your work only okay so if you have done something great try to emphasize professors that you you did this you did that went somewhere else to give some presentation you you wrote a paper you, you published a paper okay here's a small tip during any interview is that whatever you are comfortable with whatever the subjects you are comfortable with if you are comfortable with projects then try to divert your professor's attention towards that topic only because you are very much comfortable okay so if you think that something is going towards a wrong direction you know you have to try to divert the professor's attention towards something else that you are comfortable with how you can do it you can justify your answers based on that okay so if you are saying something try to put some statement that you did some projects you, during your btech that are relevant to this topic you published some amazing papers uh, during your btech and that are relevant to this topic so you try to divert your direction of answers toward that point okay you, you, if you are comfortable with so this is a small trick that may be useful to during your interviews okay okay so this is all about how you can prepare your interview process and in the next video i'll be discussing how to prepare for research interviews okay so Please hit the subscribe button if you are new here and if you haven't subscribed yet subscribe it so hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please give a like and share with your friends if you find this video useful and comment it out if you have any questions or suggestions regarding this video and please do subscribe to my channel for more contents so see you in the next video till then stay happy stay motivated and goodbye